After five thousand men had eaten their fill, the disciples of Jesus saw him walking on the sea. On the next day, the crowd that remained on the other side of the lake saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Other boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum seeking Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, You are seeking me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, as human beings, all of us constantly search. Search for many things. Search for our day-to-day -day lives. Search for our needs. Search for good relationships. Search for peace and harmony. Similarly, you take our lives. All of us constantly keep searching for one are the other things. Today also we see a similar thing in the gospel where the people search for Jesus. They look for Jesus all around and they do not find him and they are shocked because they wanted to see Jesus desperately. Because earlier if you read the previous words from this gospel you will see the people already Jesus had fed them and they were so happy being fed by Jesus. And today they also go in search of Jesus and when they meet Jesus and ask him, Lord, where are you? We were looking for you. The answer of Jesus, because you ate, is this why you are searching for me? And the crowd did not have an answer to tell him. Dear friends, this so happens in our day-to-day -day lives as well. We search for God only when we need Him. When we are in desperate situations, when we are into difficulties, when we are into turmoils and hardships, then when everything seems bleak and meaningless, that is the time most of us come in search of God. And we really want to see a miracle from Him and we run to pillar and post seeking for blessings. But today Jesus is asking all of us not to be only people when we need the time to come to Jesus, but He is inviting us to have a deeper relationship with Him, to live in communion with Him all the time and to listen to His words and to do what He asks of us. The best example is there in today's first reading. Stephen realized this aspect of God's love and he stood for the truth. And the saint of the day teaches also to us that to stand for truth and to be united with God at all times. Therefore, during this Holy Eucharist, let us pray for the grace that we be united with God at all times and not to search for Him only when there is necessity. Let us ask for this grace. May Mary, Mother of Perpetual Health, 
Pray for all of us and lead us towards her son Jesus. Amen.